Most of us will never have an opportunity to crawl around inside an Apollo lunar module, specifically one that didn't go to the moon because those were all punted into the moon's surface after the landing. But what if a picture could give you a really good idea of what it's like to be inside the vehicle? We're taking a quick look at that today on Vintage Space. Most pictures of the Apollo lunar module show it freely floating in space, either just after disconnecting from the command module about to land on the moon, or with its descent stage gone, about to redock with the command module after the lunar landing. Occasionally, there are some really beautiful pictures of it sitting on the moon. And of course, there are production shots. Occasionally, there are pictures taken with a fisheye lens, usually during training, that show more of the vehicles inside, but none of these pictures give us a really good sense of just how tiny this vehicle was. Now, think about what the lunar module's goal was. The lunar module was specifically designed to support two men on the moon's surface for up to three days, depending on the mission. It wasn't exactly luxurious. The astronauts had to sleep with their hammocks crossing over each other, stacked like offset bunk beds, because there was no place for them to lie down side by side. Add bulky pressure suits and the backpacks they needed for their lunar EVAs, plus all the rocks and everything that they were bringing back with them, that place got really crowded really fast. But even knowing all that, it's really hard to imagine just how tight those quarters were. But there's one picture that does show you just how tight the quarters were in the lunar module when it was actually flying to the moon. A little more than 57 hours after launch, the crew of Apollo 11 had just finished their fourth TV transmission, and Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were inside the Eagle doing their initial spacecraft checkout and inspection. Armstrong took this familiar picture of Aldrin that we've all seen, but he apparently also took more pictures of the spacecraft's interior. Stitched together, they show the spacecraft in all its messy, lived-in, on-the-way-to-the-moon glory and also show you just how claustrophobic it would be to live in that space for two days. So super quick, just because I really wanted to highlight this amazing picture. It's one of my all-time favorite composites from the Apollo program. Do you guys have pictures that you absolutely love and kind of want to know more of the story behind? Let me know, and I guess throw the links into those pictures as well in the comment section below. And of course, any questions you have about all things old-timey space. Be sure to follow me on Twitter or Instagram for daily-ish, vintage space-ish content. And with new videos going up every single week, be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode.